Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about set and reset. It is also known as latch and unlatch, which is used in programmable logic controllers to control the output status based on specific input conditions. This concept is used in holding the condition of an output after a momentary input is triggered once, such as energizing a motor starter or indicator light. These inputs can be from sensors or momentary switches like push buttons. So we are going to explore how set reset ladder logic is represented in Eco Structure Machine Expert. So we will open Eco Structure Machine Expert. We will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then we will go to configuration tab. So here is a list of different logic controllers. But now I will be using TM221 C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. So the logic controller I'm using has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line, 100 to 240 voltage AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I will go to serial line and select protocol as TMH2GDB and then click on apply. So now I will go to programming tab. Here we will be drawing ladder logic for set and reset. We can also click on full screen mode here and zoom into it. Firstly, I will insert a normally open contact here and I will insert a set coil. I will click on it and I will click on it and then click here. I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0, .0 symbol as switch 1. Yes. And then I will also assign address to the coil as Q. 0.0, .0 and symbol as motor. Yes. So we have connected a normally open contact with motor, which is a set coil. So what happens is when we turn on switch 1, then obviously the current will flow through it and motor will be on. So what is the difference between a normal coil and set coil? The difference is that in a set coil, when we turn on the input that is switch 1 in this case, the output will be true. And then when we turn off switch 1, that is when we modify the input as false, the output still remains true. That is the difference between a normal coil and a set coil. Now we will exit full screen mode here and compile the program. We will zoom out and then go to commissioning. Then here we will launch simulator. And then we will start controller. To do so, click OK. So here, 
Switch 1 is input and motor is output. So, if I turn on switch 1, the motor will be obviously true. But, as the coil we have selected is a set coil. So, when we turn off switch 1, the coil, the motor still remains true. So, this is the working of set coil. That is, when we turn on input, the output also turns out to be on. But, when we turn off switch 1, the output still remains true. So, to turn off the output, what should we do? So, to turn off the output, the set coil, we use another coil that is reset coil. So, firstly, we will stop simulator and then I will add a new rung here. I will insert a normally open gun tat and then a reset coil. I will click on it and then click here. So, I will assign address as I 0.1. I will also add symbol as switch 2. Yes. Now, I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.1, sorry, as 0.0, .0. that is motor. So, here, when we turn on switch 1, the motor will be on. And, when we turn off switch 1, the motor still remains true. But, to turn off the motor, we use this rung, switch 2. Here, when we turn on switch 2, the motor turns off. Now, we will compile the program. And then, we will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then we will start controller. To do so, click OK. So here, as you can see, when I turn on switch 1, motor will be on. Then, if I turn off switch 1, the motor still remains on. So, to turn off, we will be using switch 2. And, when I turn on switch 2, the motor will be turned off. It was all about set and reset. Thank you for watching.